7.24 the time. Let's get straight to your calls on when, whether you still support the strikes and whether Keir Starmer should be more supportive of them than he is. Sean's in concert. Evening, Sean. Ben, he's got to resign, mate. He's not Labour. He's not Labour, mate. I tell you what, he's doing more for he's, he's doing more for the cause of the Tories than, he, than he's ever doing for the Labour Party. What's he Where's doing to help Labour the Tories, Sean? Get, How, the how's he Party helping get, the Tories? Where's the Labour Party get the money from, mate? If it wasn't for the uh, unions, uh, the Labour Party wouldn't be they wouldn't be going, mate. He is a Tory through and through, mate. Every time he gets up on that, I'll oh, go on, we'll either substate or we'll go with the government. But the Labour Party, man, we're supposed to be against the bloody Tories. Not for them. How, but he is, he, Sean, he is. He is, He, not, he says mate. he understands why people are going on strike. He just doesn't want to join the picket line himself. Well, he's not a true, he's not a true Labour man, then. Go to your other job, Keir Starmer. Get back to the job that you were in, mate, and give somebody else a chance to lead this party. Because we'll never get into government with him. We'll never get into government. Don't you think, Sean, there's a, there's a case to be made, as he's making, that actually people don't want the Prime Minister in waiting to be joining picket lines and waving placards. They want him to look like a serious politician and acting as if he's already Prime Minister. That's what he's trying to do. He'll never be Prime Minister. He'll never be Prime Minister of the Labour Party, mate. Because he's going the wrong way about it. What should what a short of joining picket lines? What should he be doing differently? He should be standing there with the lad and turning out and saying, "Look, I, I do agree with you." And you think that makes him more likely to become prime minister if he goes and joins the picket? If he goes and joins the strikes? If he does everything against what the Tories do, man, the Tories make me physically sick. Sure, He's the, the British it. people elected the Tories, so they might make you physically sick. Through Brexit. But... If it wasn't for Brexit, they wouldn't have got in, mate. But for your party, and I take it... Well, you, I don't know if you're still... Are you still a Labour voter? Would you vote for Keir Starmer? I'll never vote to... I'll never vote for another party right. as far as but, I live, So mate. to win the next election, your party needs to win over people who voted Tory. That's what Keir Starmer's trying to do. To win it? the next election is to get rid of Keir Starmer. Because he's a Tory. Who do you want to see instead? I want either Angela Rayner or um, Lisa Manny. And you think they'd have a better chance of winning than he? Of course they would, mate. They labour through and through, man. Get back off your holiday, man. Take care. And go back to the job that you were in. Sean, thank you. That's Sean in at concert. Is Sean right? Is Keir Starmer not doing enough to stand out from the Tories? Is he a Tory, to use Sean's uh, phrase? Or do you understand that there's a nuance here, that Keir Starmer doesn't have to be uh, on the side and the same side as the opposition, in this case the Conservatives, to be uh, uh, labelled as that? What he's trying to do is make the case of what Labour would do in government, not very successfully in my view, admittedly, while also looking like a Prime Minister in waiting. And Prime Ministers do not go and join picket lines. I, I understand his position on that. Where I don't understand is where he just consistently dodges the question on what he would do if he was in government. Because you can't say on the one hand, we need to look like we're a government in waiting. And then when you're asked over and over again, OK, what would you do when you're in government? Say, oh, well, you know, we're not in government, so we're not going to say. That's, that's where we're at with Keir Starmer. I understand why he's not joining picket lines. I think Sean's wrong on that. I get it. I don't get why he can't say whether or not he thinks nurses and doctors and teachers and police officers deserve a pay rise, and if so, how much? It's a pretty simple question.